Coming up next, it's Unity and Augmented Reality. Stay tuned. And we are back with Unity Live at GDC. Bradley, Brittany, Hi. from Unity. I know you guys. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Hey, how are you doing? Thanks hey, for being Hi. Here. Thanks. Familiar faces. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. So, augmented reality. What on earth is that? <laughs> well, <laughs> Let's good start question. With yeah, one. yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't know if we have time to get into that right now, but no, uh, there sure. I'm, I'm kind of kidding. Yeah, there's a lot going on with AR, mm -hmm. augmented reality. Uh, I know all the lingo. So uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on right now. Obviously, we announced um, some big things back in Unite Austin last year mm -hmm. um, with with AR Kit, AR Core. Um, what's the kind of latest stuff going on with AR, like across the whole gamut? So the, the last entire year has actually been uh, really exciting. We've seen HoloLens development you know, stay strong and the community continue to grow, and we actually power over 90% of the apps for HoloLens on the Windows Store. Cool. Uh, we saw Vuforia get a built-in integration in Unity, so developers can access that you know, more easily. And uh, you, you know, if you saw the keynote, which I did, I you saw the keynote. Yeah. <laughs> so we saw Magic Leap, the, the Magic Leap announcement. So actually, yep. developers will be able to build to their spatial uh, computing platform. Yeah. And another thing that we're really excited about with AR is that within this last year, it's now come to handheld devices. So now, it's AR-enabled devices are in the hands of millions of people who have these devices. So Apple released their own AR development platform called AR Kit. Google released their own development platform called AR Core. And so this is something where now, um, by the end of this year, it's projected that one billion devices will be AR-enabled. So something that we're also really excited about as we're talking about what's new and exciting with AR is that we are kind of solving one of the biggest problems that are facing AR developers right now, which is this idea of this fragmented platform ecosystem, right, yeah. where right now, before we came out with our multi-platform AR, as a developer, you had to build once for AR, or for AR kit devices, for Apple devices, and then build your app again so that it would work across uh, the applicable Android devices. But yeah. with this multi-platform AR, you're now able to build once and deploy across both platforms, which is saving you the time and the headache of having to rebuild for each platform. So that's another thing that we're really excited about this year. So is that, sorry, go ahead. No, no, sorry. So, so where can our development community get started with that? So if they say, hey, this AR stuff looks cool, like how do they get started? Where's 101? Well, I mean, I think the first thing is to just download Unity. So if you're already a Unity developer, I recommend, you know, updating to the latest version of Unity and grabbing what we have, you know, heading to the website and figuring all that out. Uh, or if you're new to Unity, just pick it up and start learning. We've got you know, a lot of resources right there mm -hmm. to, to kind of get you, get you going. But for all those people who are watching who have already got an idea of some kind and they want to decide whether maybe this, this is good for AR or maybe it's something where it can add like an AR component to it, like what do they do? Right, mm -hmm. so I mean, you're, you're right. There are the, the kind of the, the, two, the two options right now. You can develop like a, a purpose-built sort of AR application. Mm. And you know that's that's an interesting th thing to do and has its own challenges. Or you can uh, you know you can take your existing uh, application on the App Store or on the Play Store, and you can actually add an AR component. So we're seeing a lot of interesting things like this Guns of Boom, where they've added, you know, it's a really popular kind of FPS yeah, yeah, mobile so game, yeah. and they've added uh, sort of a spectator mode, so people can turn on AR functionality and sort of cruise around the map. Oh, cool! That's and, really cool. Like you know, a giant kind of tabletop thing. Yeah, oh, yeah cool. exactly. Or there's a you know a CSR racing too, where you know people when they trick out their cars, they can go and look at their car in their driveway and open the door and have oh, what, a like inside. full size. Yeah, full size. Oh, yeah. that's really cool. Mm -hmm. So like, like I said, like if, if someone is watching and they 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 are wondering about getting into AR, what are the main things that are going to come up against? Like, what are the mm -hmm. big challenges that's that people have? Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> so I already referenced one of them, being the fragmented platform ecosystem, but we've sure. identified three big challenges that are facing AR developers. So another one is that um, there's a lack of expert knowledge out there. The technology is so new and it's changing so quickly that it's really hard to nail down some of the best practices. Mm -hmm. And also because it's so new, some of the best AR experiences out there are kind of proof of concepts or they've been kind of hacked together in a way that you might not want to replicate or even be able to replicate if you wanted to. Right. So something that we're really committed to doing is helping AR developers um, get started quickly and to develop 
um, great experiences so that we have a whole variety of learning resources for our developers. We have different um, third-party courses that, like XR boot camps that you can take to learn how to get started. If you've never used Unity, we have resources for you. But then also, if you just want to learn how to do Unity for AR, we have even every Tuesday, one of our evangelists does Unity T Tuesdays where he's talking about specifically how to overcome AR challenges. We have a whole uh, host of different learning resources because we want to help provide the best practices to help our developers get started quickly and to make some of the most amazing AR experiences. And I think actually like the, you know, the biggest help there is actually the community. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We're, all, we're all, even at Unity, we're all, we're all figuring this out together, right? And so yeah, there's yeah. thousands of developers, you're trying something new, pass it around, you know, share knowledge, and like we can all, you know, there's so many exciting things we've got to figure out in terms of product design challenges, and we might as well all figure that out together. And Brittany mentioned a couple of other interesting problems as well. Yeah. Um, you know, and Unity's kind of working hard to solve these. One would be, you know, the sort of the performance restrictions. We've seen this with VR, we see it with AR as well. Mm. You know, these are these devices are awesome, but you know, the the constraints that you have in terms of you know how you have to render things, it's it it it's a lot of strain on the device. Yeah, basically. it's demanding, right? Exactly. So the more we can do on our end to optimize performance so that you can get more or more high quality content into your app the better. Mm. And then the other thing is, you know, just the fragmentation that Brittany brought up earlier with the with the multi-platform AR. Yeah. That that's how we're solving it. Okay. And so if we have, you know, until we get to the point where we have billions and billions of devices, you want to make sure that you can hit as many devices as possible. Yeah. And so we're working to make that as easy as possible. Okay, cool. And obviously Unity, we're we're here at GDC. Like if someone wants to come and talk to one of us about AR, like where should they go? Well, there's a lot of places. You can go to the Mix, <laughs> you can go to the Zeta Lounge, yeah. um, come by the office. We're, we're actually, you know, we had, a, we had a full XR day, but we've got a lot of XR developers here and a lot of enthusiasts mm -hmm. who will be able to answer any question you might have. Super cool. Brad, Brittany, thank you for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks thank for you. having us.